Now a man, Duke John I wasted no time setting out to win fame and glory, petitioning Pope Anastasius IV to join the First Crusade at Yuletide 1090. Before setting out for the Holy Land, John wed Adela to Toulouse in March of 1091, pocketing a tidy sum and securing an alliance with Toulouse. After three months at sea, John and his small host of 1,700 men landed in Tripoli and set siege to Boutron, assaulting it and taking it on the 31st of July, 1091. Hearing that a Christian host, outnumbered, was giving battle in Beirut, Aquitaine rushed south to help, saving the day but nearly being crushed by a mighty host of Saracens marching north from Sur. It was a close thing, with the men rowing for their lives, but they were able to escape to the ships. Before Duke John was gone a year, Count Adelbert of Perigord, a perennial rebel in Aquitaine, declared the pretender Pierre de Savoy as the true ruler of Aquitaine and raised his levies. John curtailed his crusading and returned to Aquitaine, crushing this rebellion in May of 1092. After consolidating his hold on the Duchy of Aquitaine, John declared himself king and rightful lord over Aquitaine and Toulouse in April 1093. This was met with no opposition, and John instituted increased restrictions on his vassals in December that same year. A period of peace followed, with no events of note other than the filling of John's coffers. In 1094, feeling secure at last, John married his sisters, Ines, Elaine, and Philippa off to various lords, and the period of tranquility continued uninterrupted. In 1096, John established himself as a mild ruler. Bernat, Chancellor of Aquitaine, requested permission to fight a duel, which was granted, and John interceded with the Pope on behalf of Prince Bishop Pierre Raymond of Asia, effecting the lifting of his excommunication. By autumn of 1096, John, feeling secure in his kingship, saw opportunity to declare war with King Philippe of France over the county of Toulouse, a rich land bordering Aquitaine and rightfully belonging to it. After a series of hot assaults on strongholds in Toulouse, Foix, and Carcassonne, the King of France acceded to John's demands in December 1097. Not one to hang back, John declared war on the Count of Mines a few months later and wrested control of that rich county from Richard de Normandy in April 1099. John ended the decade considering the claim of his vassal, the newly created Duke of Gascogne, over the county of Navarre to the south, and looking into the children of King Garcia of Navarra and King Sancho III of Castile. Somewhat tardily, Adela de Toulouse began to show with child in January 1100, and there is hope that the new kingdom of Aquitaine shall soon have a boy heir. Can John I, King of Aquitaine, continue to rule justly and set his dynasty on a path to greatness? Let's make that guy a little bit happier. So, now I'm in a situation where all my vassals are at least happy with me. Let's see what I can do with the laws. No need to really change the laws. I can't change the primogeniture, but don't really want to anyway right now. What I'm really looking forward to is I'm looking forward to my wife getting pregnant. Ah, here we go. Good, good. Well, we'll see how this goes. Well, I would imagine he's pretty unhappy with me. No title, ambitious, and a title claimant. Yeah. Oh, I could release him. Well, oh, good. Oh, <laughs> 
Go and be free, Grile. Go and be free. Chancellors are working correctly, doing what it is I want them to be doing. <laughs> this guy, what a piece of work, huh? managed to give a son into the dynasty, and so I suppose it's not that bad. See if I can make that man happy enough to give up this this folly here. There we go. So with Galicia being divided like this, if Castile breaks up significantly. Do it. See, now I'm gathering up 4,300 men, all told, when I raise my levies. So, again, things are on the up and up as far as my armies are concerned. My main concern, of course, is that Castile may get their uh, act together and may decide to come in on the side of the uh, King of Navarra. But he is currently defending against a lot of people. So, he is extremely busy. Okay, good, good commanders. Let's go. Mercenaries in there to help encircle this castle.
So interestingly, the Duchy of Bourbon is simply this county. It has a duchy title associated with it. This is a fairly rich land, but not an especially rich one. Toulouse is larger and has more holdings. to do anything to me. Begin assaulting here and see if we can end this as quickly as possible. Check my retinues and see if I can raise another one. Not yet. Not yet. I'll begin to work a claim in Nantes here because the way that truces work, you want to have the ability to push wars against as many enemies as possible. So for example, here, now Anjou is, is uh, independent. I'm going to claim, try to claim Anjou for my vassal. Well,
Oh, interesting. It did not, uh... It did not give control of the county to me. It simply gave it to the person who I was fighting for. <laughs> well, sometimes you fight wars for things that you don't really understand. It is. I'm just going to press as hard and as fast as I can right now to expand the kingdom. I have solidly placed this gentleman in a position of considerable power now. In the future, him or his sons may prove to be difficult. Huh. When uh, Count Sentol here, who is the Count of Marsan, inherits his father's holdings, he's going to be the Duke of Gascon. <coughs> And he's going to have all of these holdings as well, so... Please stop that. Check my vassals. It's been a while since I've been seen to dispense out some mercy, so... Be free, be free.
Pignon à l'or, voici la rose Qui ce matin a voir de close Sa robe de pour croire soleil A point perdu cette veste prayer Les plis de sa robe de pour prayer Las voix et comme un peu d'espace Mignonera dessus la place Las la ses bottes et laisse choir Pauvre et mon marâtre nature Puisque la terre fleur ne dure Que du matin I'm a scholar. Who knew? Donc si me croyez mignonne, tandis que votre âge fleuronne, on s'est ouvert de nouveauté. Things are moving along rather quickly now. I mostly just wanted to get up to 1107 when I can go ahead and resume the war against King Philippe. 7 December 1107, I can attempt to take another county. So either Aguil, Arbonne, Carcassonne, Rorerg, or Foix. Also, Givalda. I can do a de jure claim on the entire duchy of Givalda, and I will do that one. Wait on this one. Actually, I'm going to do it now. Break 
this rebellion down. Retinue went away too. Now nah, that is just silly. That makes no sense to me, but whatever, I'll be more careful in the future. Now I can raise the heavy cavalry retinue now that I have 1,000 available troops there for my retinue. the larger mercenary band to try and end this even quicker. Excellent. set out on it right away here. finishes out with King John having pushed out his boundaries in the south and now the east, with the entire Kingdom of Navarre now subsumed into the Kingdom of Aquitaine, and the Duchy of Toulouse on its way to being incorporated into Aquitaine. With a male heir, things look like they're well in hand, but Duke Carlos of Gascon has accumulated very great power owing to the wars that obtained Navarra, Vizcaya, and Najera having been fought on his behalf. But territory is territory, and solving problems with vassals is nothing new to this king. I hope you join me in watching next chapter. Thanks for watching.